Okay, this is a Sony ICF C1 alarm clock. Just wanted to go over it briefly with you. Here's your top buttons. Have your volume button on the left side. Tuning AM FM on the right. You have your little battery holder in the bottom. It holds a CR um what is that a 20 CR2032 battery? If for some reason you need to change that. And there's the back of it with the adjustment buttons. Okay. So if for some reason you're setting the clock for the first time or it's lost its electricity and battery at the same time, one of the first things you're gonna need to do is set the time zone on it. It's fairly simple, and there's your codes. It defaults to the Eastern Standard Time. So if you're there, you're okay, but if not, you might need to change it. Um, time zone button, just gonna press it. Simple as that, type three, four, five, depending upon where you're at. I'm in the Central Standard Time Zone, Tennessee, which I'm sure you can tell from my accent. Okay. Um, and that's as easy as that, you let off and, it, and it, it's set. Um, the automatic daylight savings time, this thing automatically has that function so you don't have to worry about it and once you set the date it'll change in the summer and um, summer and winter as needed but if for some reason you don't like it or you want to turn it off it's going to be as easy as pressing and holding the dst button on the back okay i just turned it off and then same way to turn it back on you just want to press and hold it for a few seconds and then it's back on. That's fairly simple and straightforward. Um, let's set the clock manually on it. I'm going to hold that up there just in case you need to read it. You can pause the video if you need to. And then I'll just show you how to set the clock right quick. Enter time set. You want to hold this button in for a few seconds. Okay, so you see a 20. That's going to be your year. Just remember that. You can adjust that by pressing the plus or minus button. Once you get it adjusted to the year, then you're going to press the enter button again. That's going to be your month. You can adjust it by the plus or minus button. That's going to be your date. And then there's your time adjustment. So it's uh, 2.04 a.m. You can adjust it by pressing the plus or minus button however you would like. I'll move it forward here just a little bit. If you hold it in, it's going to move in increments of 10. Once you get it where you want it, simply press the time set button again. It beeps twice, and it's good to go. Uh, the next function on it is going to be playing the radio. Playing the radio is pretty straightforward. Just press the on button, adjust it. Okay, kicks on. Got your volume on the left. Got your station adjustment on the right. Okay, but the thing is, is turning it off. If for some reason you radio doesn't turn it back off, this alarm reset button turns it off, and it says off up there. So just remember that if you do turn it on, you have to turn it off with that alarm reset button. Okay, the next thing is going to be setting the alarm on it. I'm going to hold these instructions up here just in case you need to read them for some reason. And then it carries on over to the next page for just a second. And then I'll show you how to set the alarm right quick. Set the alarm. First thing you're going to remember to do is to set it on buzz or radio, depending upon how you want to wake up. If for some reason you like to wake up to the radio, just be sure that you have the volume set where you want it and that you actually have it on a station that works. And there's your station indicator if you need to see but yeah don't 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 just turn it on radio and forget about the volume and the station or am fm band because uh, you won't wake up uh, i'm just going to set it over to buzz and then if you want to change the alarm it's as simple as pushing it uh, plus or minus um, also note that that says pm so obviously i would want to hold it over until i get to the am if i wake up in the morning just be conscious of that um, another little note is is that if this is in the off setting and then you press see it doesn't say anything so if you press the up or down button 
plus or minus I should say so yeah just make sure you put it on buzz set the alarm time wherever you want it and it's good to go when the alarm starts going off you press the off button or you can press the snooze one thing to note on this particular alarm clock about the snooze function is that the snooze function is in 10 minute increments if for some reason you press the snooze button twice it will snooze for 20 minutes and three is 30 four is 40 and i'll show you here on this paper five is 50 and six is 60. so just be um conscious of that while you are changing the snooze function i'm just going to see if it weren't noted that in here okay oh it took me a second to find it sorry about that okay so there it shows you 10 20 30 40 50 60. So just remember that when you're halfway awake in the morning and, and you're fumbling around for the snooze button, that uh, one time is 10 minutes, two times 20, three times is 30. Um, to change the brightness on it, simple as just pressing that snooze button. It has three functions. And yeah, that's gonna cover about everything on it, setting the brightness of the display. Um, it has a sleep timer on it. I have not messed with the sleep timer hardly at all, but uh, we'll just look at it, setting the sleep timer. There's the instructions if you need to be. Um, you can fall asleep to the radio using the sleep timer. So um, it's going to automatically um, turn it off after a preset time. So I'm going to turn the radio on. Obviously find a station that works. It'll be hard to find where I'm at. Okay, and then you would just press the sleep button. 90, 60, 30, 15, or off. Okay, so and there you have it. Well, oh, I'm going to turn the alarm clock back off. Um, well, I hope that helps you about the uh, little alarm clock. I've got separate videos for most of the functions. And the main one being just how to change the alarm or set the time on it. So if you care to, you can go back and watch those individually. And I also have the instruction manual in a separate video if you need to look at something longer. Thank you.